Let us look at another program in Robot C. Again, up here is the actual program. Top are the setup statements called Pragma statements. Um, we plugged some things into our VEX controller. We came to this motor and sensor setup and told it what we had. We have three line followers. One is in port one, one's in port three, one's in port six. We called one of them incoming, one of them whole, one of them outgoing. We have a touch sensor called bump in digital one. We have two motors, one's in port two, one's in port three, one's called conveyor, one's called drill. We have some comments here again, green is comments. One line of comment is with, we tell we're gonna write one line by putting two forward slashes. And then we tell it we're gonna put a paragraph of comments with a forward slash and an asterisk. Task, this is what we wanted to make happen. And we write this thing called pseudocode. It's kind of code, kind of um, regular English. Loop forever. We're going to make this code just run, 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 keep working forever. We could have put a stop button in at some point in time, but we didn't. Um, when the line sensor is activated, start a motor. Until the second line sensor is activated, then stop the one motor, start the drill motor, run it for a little bit, start the drill motor in reverse, wait for a little bit, stop the drill motor, start the conveyor belt motor again till it passes the third lot of the third and then stop. So this is a conveyor belt on an assembly line. It's a drill press. We're going to bring it a thing in. It's going to turn our belt on, stop the belt, drill a hole, start the belt, then stop the belt to wait for the next one. And we ended our comment with an asterisk slash. So task main, that's always there. Never touch that. Never touch this beginning squiggly bracket, which says, hey, the program is about to begin. While one equals one means forever. There's other ways to write forever. Could you like re repeat forever is another. There's, there's some different codes that make it, makes it run forever. But while one equals one, says, yeah, for an, just as long as one is one, do this. So here we go. Until light is a code is a program code for a light sensor, which is a line follower. And it's got to hit a certain number and then it'll do things. It's light sensor incoming. It then starts the motor. The motor called conveyor is when it starts at the speed of 30. It's going to wait for two seconds. So it's going to do it for two seconds until the light hits another value that light sensor is the light sensor hole, then it'll stop the motor on the conveyor belt. Now we put white space in here just to separate our actions. You can write this line right after line after line after line after line and not put any white space in, but it's good programming to kind of break things up a little bit. Also remember, every line of code ends with a semicolon. The computer just reads until semicolon. Now the second action, now that we are stopped the conveyor belt, we're gonna drill a hole. It would have been nice up here if we put some comments in saying what was going on. Like here we have a comment, hey, the drill is gonna come to go down, go up. Start a motor, which motor? The motor called drill, run it at 30 for two seconds. Stop the motor called drill. Start, start the motor called drill in reverse, negative 50. Wait to stop the motor. Now that we drilled our hole, we need to send our piece off the belt. So start the motor called conveyor again, run it at 30 speed until it passes a light sensor, the outgoing light sensor, and has a certain number. Why do they have different numbers, 25, 26, and 2700? The light sensors, the sensitivity of them, and, and where the thing ends up on the belt um, was inconsistent. So we had to find the right value that would make things happen. Um, so run it until we do, so we, so we pass our sensor and actually run it for two seconds after we pass our sensor, uh, to make sure the thing gets off the belt and then stop the motor and then end that piece of thing, piece of code. And then basically it says, you know, that's all within the while loop. So then come back up to while and wait for the next thing to come from the other part of the conveyor belt system.
and then run through it again, come back up to the while, wait for something else to come in and keep running, running, running and just looping forever. Again, we probably could have put a stop button in here, like an emergency stop kind of thing, which would have been, you know, realistic. Uh, but we didn't do that. 